Getting reviews is very, very important, no doubt about it. And indeed, Amazon recognizes the importance of that uh, because what they have got in place to help you is something called the Early Reviewer Program. So when you first launch your product on Amazon.com, uh, it's not available in Australia yet, but Amazon.com, you can sign up for the Early Reviewer Program. And what that gives you is it gives you five reviews. Now, I love the hypocrisy of this. So let me just show you how this works. Let me tell you how this works. <laughs> Amazon has stopped us incentivizing reviews on Amazon. So it stopped us doing that. We get in trouble if we incentivize reviews. However, uh, you will see very, very quickly that what the early reviewer program is, it's Amazon incentivizing reviews. That's all it is. So you sign up for it. They charge your card 60 US dollars. And for that, they will get you up to five reviews over a period of t up to 12 months, something like that. So uh, you can't have any, you've got to have less than five reviews when you sign up for that. Um, but generally speaking, they'll get you your first five reviews. And the, <laughs> the way it works is they will go out to the reviewers who are in what's called the Vine program, and they will give the product to them uh, at your cost. And um, and then Amazon will incentivize them with a little gift. It's usually a gift card between two and five dollars, something like that. So that's what Amazon knows works best to get reviews. Okay, hold that thought. So you should definitely do that. Sign your product up to be in the early reviewer program. That definitely works. You should definitely do that. If you want to fast track that, here's what you should do. So I just copy what Amazon does. So here I am on Upwork. And what I would do in this situation is I would set up a job for a uh, Amazon assistant. There we go. Amazon assistant. So I set up a job for an Amazon assistant. And you said you were selling in America. So I'd apply a filter, come down here. I'd go to the location. And I want to put uh, USA. Let's see if it did that. United States. There we go. So go to the United States. And you could check some of these as well by having them bill some hours. But it's not really that necessary. What I'm looking for is a hourly rate, $10 and under. Okay. Cheapo. Cheapo people. So based in the US of A. Now, what I will do is I will write a job on Upwork saying that I'm looking for a Amazon virtual assistant for some easy Amazon tasks. I'll keep it super, super loosey goosey. I do not mention I want you to review my product. I don't talk about that at all. If you do, your, your, your account will get closed down immediately on Upwork. Okay, so don't do that. Just talk about Amazon Assistant, simple tasks. And I also say you must have an Amazon.com or even better, be a prime customer because I want you to understand how Amazon works, okay? So I'll put that in there too, just so that I can make sure that the person who I'm going to talk to can actually review my product. And if they're a prime customer, that will mean they can review your product. So that's the first thing. Then I put that listing live and then I invite people to my job. So I'd invite Kelvin and Ashley, Victoria, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to my job. Once they apply for my job, I have a little bit of to and fro with them through Upwork. And then I say to them, can I talk to you live on Skype just so that I can explain more about what the job is? And they'll be keen to do that, of course, because it shows you're serious. So I take them off of Upwork and take them onto something like Skype or something like that, okay? And then when they're on Skype, that's when I tell them, the real job. And of course, the real job is, will you go to Amazon and buy my product? And I will pay you to do that. And then you leave me a nice review. That's the real job, of course. Okay. So a couple of nuances with that. First thing is, you want to pay them 
through Upwork because it's important to them as Upwork providers that you can use the Upwork interface and they'll also then be able to get their own five-star review from you uh, who's hired them. So it means it's good for them for their Upwork profile. So that's cool. Second thing is what I do is I pay them for their time. So that's an hour of their time to go and order the product on Amazon and also to leave a review. And I also pay them for the product. Now I do that up front. So my thing is I don't expect you to trust me. I will simply trust you. So I'll put all my trust in you so you don't need to put your trust in me. That's very, very compelling. You're not saying you go to Amazon, buy my product and then I'll reimburse you. No. What you're saying is I'll give you the money to go and buy my product and I'll also pay you to do that through Upwork. It's a much, much better offer for people. You're not asking them to take any risk at all. And so that's what I do. It's a very, very simple way of getting reviews on uh, on Amazon. And it's a way that you can control that. And it's basically what Amazon does. Except for you've taken control of it. You're no longer using the early reviewer program. You're setting your own early reviewers up. And of course, once you've done it once with them, you've built a relationship with them, you can then go back to them again and again and again to do that. Uh, you could use Airtasker. You could use Freelancer. Absolutely. You could use any of those different platforms. Uh, it would be no worries at all. So that's what I do. It works really, really well. And folks will have no problems with that. The problem starts when you ask them to trust you. It's like, please go and buy my product and then I'll reimburse you. No, that's not how it works. I'll give you the money for my product and I'll pay you. That's how it works. Sonia, can you use family to give you reviews? So it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Don't do that. They can buy your product, but as soon as you get family to leave your reviews, eh, Amazon's not going to be happy with that. Don't do that. Hope that makes sense. All right, so that's that. That's reviews. They're really easy to get. These these things, reviews are no problems at all. There shouldn't be any dramas at all for you to get them. You've just got to be happy to invest in your business, that's all. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon and indeed Anthony who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.